Hi everybody and welcome back to Relax My Dog. Now today's video is quite an important one if you guys work your typical nine to five. If you do work nine to five and you are worried that your dog is a little bit bored when you are out at work, then this video is 110% definitely for you because we're gonna be talking about how to keep your dog entertained whilst you're at work. And before we do begin, definitely do go down below to the comments and let me know what is your home life like do you go to work? What sort of things do you do for work? What does your dog typically do when they are at home? But do let me know down below in the comments what you usually do when you go out to work or school. Now the first easy one that you can do, which I'm sure most of you guys have probably already thought about, and that is to just leave toys around. If you have like a toy basket like Milo does, we usually can sort of pick up the toys and put them all over the house, and that'll just keep them occupied whenever we are out. Milo is normally given like the kitchen area and a little bit of the living room to play in, or to sort of lounge in when we're out at work. So we normally dot these toys around there, and he can just sort of pick them up and play with them whenever he pleases. Although a lot of the time we come home and they are still in the same place, but we do give them the option. And the next one is to obviously leave the TV or the radio on. This will just make sure there is constant noise in the house and make them feel not as alone. Also, you can play Relax My Dog music as well or even play some Relax My Dog TV if you have that option in your house because honestly, they will save your dog from so much boredom when they are at home. But normally we leave the TV on or like I say, we will leave some Relax My Dog music or the radio just to make sure that they sort of feel that someone's in the house and that they're not completely on their own. Number three is one I actually never really thought about, and this isn't really an option for us in our house, but that is to provide your dog with a window to look out of. All of our windows are a little bit too high up, but if you have one that is like floor to ceiling, try and let your dog have access to that area because honestly, they will just stare at the window and that the time will go so much quicker for your dog. This is a great way to keep them entertained, but do be aware that if they are quite sort of anxious and they see people like the postman coming up to the door, it can actually be quite a stressful situation for your dogs. Number four is to organize a play day. What I mean by this is if you are going out with your friend and they also have a dog, tell them to bring the dog over and then they can just sort of chill together and have a bit of fun times in the house while you are out with your friend. Honestly, this works so, so well. Unless they are quite destructive and naughty together, maybe give a second take about that one. Milo, come here. Come here. Why are you all the way over there when you roll, hey? The next one is to hire a dog walker. Obviously, if you don't have the capability to walk your dog yourself or you are out of the house and you want to make sure they have a little bit of a walk whilst you are out, this is a perfect way. Just hire a dog walker, get them to come in, let, take your dog out, and then you know that your dog has something to do or something to look forward to at least. And the next one is to introduce lots of new toys to your dog's toy basket. He keeps hearing the word toy, don't you? Can you hear the word toy? Like, what's a toy? Where's my toy? You're so cute. If you do introduce new toys to your dog's toy basket, this will just keep them occupied. They have constantly new things to play with, and honestly, that'll just work amazingly for your dog, especially if it's ones that last a bit longer or if they are ones that you can hide treats inside of. Just anything to keep your dog occupied would honestly be the best option for your dog. And then our very last one is one that we are very, very fortunate to actually have, and that is to invest in a pet cube. A pet cube is a perfect way to keep your dog entertained whilst you're out of the house. When you're at work, you can have a little app on your phone. I have an iPhone and it works perfectly on that. And you can literally just log on to the Pet Cube app and you can connect it to your webcam at home and you can talk to your dog, you can throw treats to your dog, you can do pretty much anything. It is absolutely perfect and great way to keep your dog entertained while you're out of the house. Now that is it for this week's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know down below what you usually do when you are out of the house at work or at school. I would absolutely love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. If you haven't as well, don't forget to follow us over on Instagram. We are at well, that's my dog. We post so many different funny memes over there and also some videos of Myla. So if you do want to check that out, you can follow us over there at well, that's my dog, like I've already said. Don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe by clicking this little button over here. And also don't forget to check out our previous video, which is all the way on the other side of the screen. If you would like to learn on how to tell if your dog is stressed. But yes, thank you all so, so much for watching. And me and Miley here, we'll see you all next week for next week's video. Bye.